It's another big story tonight, a shooting, carjacking, and finally a police chase on a major highway. It started at a U-Haul facility in Larimer, where police say a gunman shot an employee and took off in a truck. Police chased the guy onto Route 28, ultimately arresting him near the 31st Street Bridge, but only after a police officer was hurt and another driver's windows were shot out. Team coverage on this tonight. Royce Jones talked with that driver about what he saw. But first, Jennifer Barrasso live with the latest from police tonight. Jen. Well, Ken, detectives here at Pittsburgh Police Headquarters are still interviewing that suspect, and I'm told it's going to be a while before he is taken to the Allegheny County Jail. Now, it's unclear what led up to that shooting at the U-Haul earlier today. Was it random or was it targeted? That's really sad. That's bad. That's sad. It was around 4.35, uh, we got a 911 call for a uh, male shot. Pittsburgh police swarmed this U-Haul store along Washington Boulevard in Larimer. After gunshots rang out in the parking lot, a spokesperson says a man pulled out a gun, fired it at an employee, hitting him in the neck. At least four employees were inside the store at the time. They're pretty shaken up. You know, nobody expects to be working their job and, you know, see a coworker get shot outside. Uh, they're pretty uh, shaken up, but they were able to speak with detectives and give them uh, good information. That employee rushed to the hospital in critical condition. After the shooting, the suspect stole this pickup truck and headed toward the Allegheny River and onto Route 28 southbound, where he was eventually caught. This is crazy to me. A couple businesses down from the U-Haul store, this employee, Jane Marcus, stunned at the violence that happened so close to her. I cannot believe that just happened. This is the first time hearing about it. So this is a little bonkers. That's insane. And now I'm a little bit, now I'm a little bit scared. Since mid-June, Pittsburgh has seen 68 shootings. 32 have been deadly compared to 24 this time last year. What led to the shooting here is still unknown. But some wonder why. A lot of people are so frustrated with the economy and things like that, that they just snap out. They don't know how to react, so they take it out on other people. And Pittsburgh police are waiting for an update on the condition of that victim. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK News.